2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the, NL, the NLT translation, the NLT translation. For Yahweh Yahweh has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity, but the but power of love and self-discipline. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yom Shah Bashim Kakodash. The Wadi Yahweh Yom Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone, deserved of honor, rightfully so. Shalom to the Akim, pushing the word and sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifted the hopeful elect into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifted, shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, I'll be right this out of the Lord to the course of this video. Just a festival seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon. And all the other filthy customs that I've taken upon. Um, right now the time is 12, 12.06 a.m. in the morning, Wednesday, October 9th, 2024, the awful year of Jacob's trouble. And um, I, um, I was just watching the brother's video, tax, Texas brother. He sit down and then watch it to the point that led me to bring out this verse. And... Yeah, um, you know, for myself, I truly believe, first and foremost, the Spirit had me, um, when I heard the verse, Spirit of Yahweh Shemesh had me um, say, don't worry, man, take it easy with your variation, <laughs> you know, and um, the elder um, Yahshua Omar said that um, the brother, the brother, the other brother from Canada, the other brother from Canada, too, he said something about um, the spirit of fear and what if spirit, that's a demon, you know, and um, they was going back and forth saying that's a demon, you know, such and such. And and I concur that what if demon, because they always like, what if, what if they catch you? What if this happened? You know what? I'm at the point where I don't give a shit, man. What if, I'm not, catch me doing what? You know, Satan? The damn thoughts. What if the if demon? You know, can't you know what? I ain't doing nothing. You know, we ain't doing nothing. We read, we go read the Bible, we read the Bible, we go to work, pay damn taxes, right? You know, why? Because we're not we're not conform to this world. We should worry. Nah, we shouldn't worry, man. Because if we was doing something wrong, they would have been locked us up. But they got to, they for for this to um for them to even think about coming for us, it's gonna have to be that test, that great test, man. It's gonna have to. They they remember remember back um, I remember early in the um, like when I started putting up videos for myself and apostles putting up video, they was always taking the videos down. The account has been dis disconnected, discount gone, suspend this account, spin that account. So if you was doing something wrong. Right. If you was doing some, if you was, if you wasn't, if you was doing something wrong, they would have took your video down. Did I say that right? If you were doing something wrong, they would take your video down. But since you're doing something right, they took your video down. They used to suspend counts all the time. What happened? Then recently, to a person that was in charge of YouTube or something, they died or something. The lady died. Her son died. So the Yahweh Shem is said <laughs> things is happening to people that go against us, man. That's why we shouldn't be dismayed. We shouldn't be ashamed of what we're doing. I read that verse a minute ago. Let me see if I can find that one. Hold on. I just, I just read this verse. And come on now, buddy. All right. So... Is it here? No, I didn't close it, so.
Yeah. So I read this in my last video I just did, right? So it says Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11. Behold, all they that were increased against thee shall be ashamed. These people are about to be ashamed, bro. Let's go Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11. Let's get this in the in the um in the blue letter real fast. Let's go ahead real fast. Keep that page. Open up another tab. Level up with these tabs, bro. Because I wouldn't be able to maneuver. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be able to maneuver how I maneuver Salaki. I just wouldn't be able to because, you know, our apostles, 41, and elders, they did their thing. What is it? What's, hold on. Hold on. I want to see what this word says. It's locked here. Encourage. Encourage. Okay. Hold on. My eyes are itching. One second. So we are here to encourage. Israel, encourage. That's the headline reads for this chapter. Let's read the first verse real quick. Let's see. I just want to see what it says. Um, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11. All right. Just to um, jump to the point, right? It says, um, because we do encourage, um, this is encouraging, man, to know um, what's about to, what we're about to accomplish. What we, we shouldn't worry, man. As they build, you know, they're building. Y'all must be on shots that he's going to throw down. Hey, we didn't know prior to 2007. I never disrespected the Bible. I never said, oh, the Bible's no good, whatever. Right? But before then, I was, um, you know, I was a 5% or whatever. Right? I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't say I was deep into the, the, the um, I just wanted to be a god. I just wanted to be a superhero, man. Like, I saw my, all the stuff I was trying to not remember came back around. We're going to fly. The script said we're going to mount up our wings like eagles. We're going to walk on. We're going to breathe underwater. You know, we're going to, in order to fly, you can, you can be able to breathe underwater too. We're going to live forever. That means you never go any, in any elements you can live. We're going to level up like that. I seen some stupid ass shit. That TV show Heroes. I seen the motherfuckers do the dumbest shit with spiritual powers. The dumbest shit. I tell you, I don't know if you people have watched that TV show Heroes. With the blonde hair, he, he, he um, I forgot, I'm Captain America, man, whatever the fuck his name is. But I seen people do some dumb ass shit with with um spiritual powers. So, this place is stupid, okay? Alright, um, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11. Behold, all they that were increased against thee shall be ashamed. They're going to be ashamed of themselves and confounded. And confounded? They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. What? They've been striving against us, and they've been—they were talking all this shit. We and, and, and we getting all aroused. I mean, um, all angry about it for nothing. I tell myself that it's all for nothing. We should be worrying, you know, because he said they're gonna be destroyed. They're gonna be—they're gonna perish. So this is the moment of not worrying about. All we got is hope and pray that we are one of his. And if we can forgive all the things we've done prior to coming to this truth, we got a sure chance. And I brought the side one of those men. These people don't give a shit about nothing. You know? They don't care about anything. They're sick people, man. And the ones that act like it's not happening are more sicker. 
I got no individuals like that right now. Acting like these motherfuckers ain't the damn devil. Because they look just like them. I'm telling you, man, those are the worst ones. With this nonchalant attitude, man. The worst one. They wait till you're not around you to talk your shit. They talk their shit. We shouldn't worry, bro. And they seen some glorious things happen around you. And they like, what the fuck? And they get more angry because they got that pride, man. While we have confidence, they have pride. And pride, um, what it says? Um, pride before a fall. Pride before a fall, Bible verse, King James Version. Something like that. Proverbs 16, verse 18. I like that. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction. And in haughty spirit before fall. And that's them, man. You can go you can go into the verse you can go into that verse and look up go pull out some of those words. You know? Our apostles take um they um they um they encourage you to do that. So go look up certain of those words. You know? And the why I sing our shot for this opportunity. You know? And the why Yahweh Shemar Shah for this opportunity. And the why Yahweh Shemar Shah for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And for, for encouraging us, man. For to strive unto Ecclesiastes, Book of Sirach, I think it's 428. Strive for truth unto death, and he shall fight for thee. Man, unto death, right at that moment when you want to die, the Lord going to take. Take out your enemies, man. That's why we shouldn't worry. They're gonna be confounded. You know, they're gonna be jacked up, bro. And we're gonna see the fall of our enemies, right? That's what it says, right? Hey, the book speaks volume. <laughs> Volumes. The book speaks volume, suckers. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot the word. <laughs> Um, Salakia, man. Oh, boy. But, yeah. So, you know, strive on the truth for the death, and the Lord will fight for thee, man. Um, I was going to get a verse, but I totally forgot. Um, because the books speak volumes, man. And it's happening, man. Don't worry, man. And I tell, I'm telling myself this right now, bro. Don't worry about your job. Don't worry about. Uh, but if you're gonna eat tomorrow, cause if you don't want you to, if y'all want you to want you to eat, you might, first learning what we know. Um, we shouldn't. That's why. We, that's one of the main reasons we shouldn't worry, cause we know that this is not in our hands, man. This is of y'all watching our shot. You know, and. This is why we shouldn't be dismayed. We shouldn't worry. We shouldn't um, care for nothing. I wish I couldn't. I wish I didn't forget that verse. I was trying to get a verse. Salakia. But, um, yeah. They're too prideful, man. Alright. So. Where we at? Okay, I wanted to um, see something real quick in this verse. See what the precepts I can get with this. Um, where are we at? Yeah. 
they should be as nothing, bro. I'm telling you, y'all watching y'all shot and saying your enemies is going to be nothing, man. Oh, and these antichrists always talking about some love. Well, well the Lord told you nothing. You're going to be nothing. So where's the love for those people that you so-called saying that you have a small shot loves? He just said that you know, they will be nothing. They will be confounded. That's why we like, we can't worry, man. You know, the brother said something, right? He said, um, don't worry, don't, don't worry about, um, having, um, he said, um, he said a few things, but, I, um, most important that he's going to take care of you if you wanted his elect, man. We're praying for that, bro. And we see that um, they're going to keep trying. Yo, Satan ain't going to let up. Oh, he, he also said that that the Lord, um, Satan, you know, it was Job. We read the book of Job, right? We persecuted, hated, right? And um, Satan, they, Satan, Yahweh and Satan, they were speaking. He said, yo, take the heads from him. Let me, let me deal with him a little bit. He's, we'll, we'll bring him back. <laughs> He broke he broke Job down to boils, man. Took everything from him. So you think you're um you think we ain't gonna have to go through that, man? And bro and if Job went through all that rigorous torture, right? And um um hardship and was given a hundred times fold for what he had. And he endured. He had kept his integrity, man. Wow. That's serious business, bro. You know? That's serious business. So like, I'm just looking at verses here. Wow. Yeah, here you go. Let's get this right here. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, Yahweh shot, And the righteousness of, is of me, say the Lord, Yahweh shot. Man, so everybody that's talked that hella crap, I seen it in real time. Terrifyingly, it was true. <laughs> hey, man, this shit was right at the, the brick, man. It was crazy. Um, Very spiritual, too. Um, 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 Micah Allah means God-like power, if I'm saying that correct. So I just this came to my mind because um an individual was that was his name, right? Michael, right? And he came to me and said something. Early in the morning, right? T coming to work terrified. All this shit happening, whatever, whatever. And he said something to me. This was maybe two years ago. Maybe maybe two years, two years, maybe roughly. And I just said, what? The power of Yahweh Shemel Shah is, is, um, speaks volume, man. And you don't know where you get your message from. So you got to always pay attention. It might be, the, even the person that's around you that's been fucking with you all this time, he might be a messenger through the spirit, through the spirit world. That's why I'm always humble, man. Even when I was in the world, I was humble, bro. So if I see anybody I ever had problems with again, right? 
Like, I see the few individuals I have problems with. Those in the world, right? When they see me, I can see the continents of them change. Because they're scared. But they look at me, and I'm showing absolute no, no hostility. They they look they 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 um look at the situation different, and they always feel like they always feel like man you was always a cool dude, in their mind and they saying it and they say it out loud most of the time they say it out loud. And hey, it's not our time to be. I don't know. This I'm I'm of age now. I survive all that shit. <laughs> Through the spirit of y'all, you cannot make this up, bro. And I truly believe. From all the years, from being in the world up to now, Yahweh Shem Rashad said, See, I got you out of your situation. You owe me. That's what I try. I hear that all the time. You owe me. Now get out there and do that work. Don't be worrying. You know, I get mad all the time because I be so freaking mad. Damn demons be talking hella shit. It's not like they used to talk to me back in the days, man, when I was younger. I was always telling my mother, this is different. They leveled up, bro. They are, they, they literally be showing themselves. It's so bad how they show. This one, it, this, this dude look like a demon. He got the demon look. His whole set, his, his, uh, his whole demeanor looks demonic. The demons are showing through his face. If I could, yeah, bro, nah, that's, that's just accurate. It's scary. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell wrong with you, man? Uh, and I'm trying to avoid the individual. <laughs> I go, we come one way, I go the other. I think he knows I'm avoiding this thing. a demon. There's a new official demons. There's some level up shit, bro. There's some level up shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm just saying right now, I'm like, man, and it's. It's massive spiritual, bro. What's happening, man? It's, it's like, and I feel I feel this demon taunting me, bro, in real time, man. So I got I got until when I see this individual, until the end of the day, I gotta tolerate it. And he can't. I I know somebody don't like me. You know what I mean? So I don't. I just don't react to it. I say whatever. Not nothing to do. I can't do nothing but be as humble as possible because I am a little lamb and a sheep and we are amongst wolves even though we the ferocious lion but we are sheep right now we can't we can't do nothing that's what we, and not, and not, one thing we, we gotta not do is don't worry um I think the word I think the verse just came back to me Oh, hate to see. Cares for nothing. Bible verse. King James Version. I think that's the verse. Yeah, Philippians. Yeah, be careful of nothing. Because if you stay righteous, man, we don't have to worry about nothing, bro. That's how I, that's how I feel, bro. All right? Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing. But in everything... By praying and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto Yahweh Al Shah. And my request is to ask to Lord protect me this day. I brought the Zai, let me help me get through this day. My Baku Shah, I brought the Zai, Yahweh Shimon Shah, you help me get through this day. You know? Every day, cease not to pray. You know? Say that name every day, bro. Cause that's your shield and buckler. That's your protection, bro. And I need, I need protection. I know that for sure, bro. I mean, I ain't never just knew. De- <laughs> Yo, oh man, this is level up, bro. They don't stop, bro. I'm telling you, when it's our turn, and hey, we the ones, man. Hey, bro, if we the ones, man. We gonna be walking on air. They going everything we gonna be doing. They gonna, they gonna, and we gonna make sure they remember. I wanted to do that. Or all the shit they were trying to do dirty to us, we're gonna keep in their mind, so we can reassure them that we're gonna put, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna, um, 
we're going to meditate terror. Because it's our time. It's going to be our time. The end is near for our Shashua. He that was first should be last. Um, Khan. So it's coming. So, where else at? Um, let's go back here real fast. Alright. So, we are, we, um, we are being dis, we, we got, I'm disciplined to not worry, to don't worry, man. And, hey, if you have a shall allow. You know, me to survive this, man. Get out, out of here. It's going to be glorious, bro. And only Akim. Look at the galaxies, man. You still with us? We still together? We're going to be one of those brothers. I'm going to let you I got a planet for you, man. All, all your virgins is on the planet for you. And all the special stones, precious stones is right there. Whatever you require, desire, is on the planet. We're going to be level up. He's going to clean us, man. Fuck, we dirty still, bro. The bro oh, the brother said that we are trapped in these bodies, man. This is a curse. Change of darkness. We got to deal with the elements every day, bro. Soon we're going to control the elements. Man. All right, let's bring this home. Uh, this is Second Timothy chapter one, verse seventeen, the NLT translation. For Yahweh Yahweh Shah has not given us the spirit of fear, all timid timid timidity. I looked at this word timid. Let me say it. Let's go there real fast. I know timidity. 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 Lack of courage or confidence. He didn't give us that. He didn't give us lack of courage and confidence, bro. I know when he's people, yo, what the hell, man? I don't know. I didn't, I'm just, I'm flattered, though. I got to not get angry about it, though, because, you know, from here on, I do get mad sometimes. Like, what the, but I say to myself, like, nah, these guys, they see me as somebody, and they don't like it. But they got to tolerate it. But it's up to me. My my favorite saying is, my reaction is going to determine who's going to win. My reaction is going to determine who's going to win. Okay? So I got to think about that. I got to think to myself every day, bro, that, that saying. My reaction is going to determine who's going to win. When I'm dealing with individuals in the world, bro. So I gotta be, I gotta be careful, not to be, um, not to, you know, not to overreact to anything, you know. And it's important because we're just little lambs amongst wild, wild wolves. So, but we we have courage and confidence. You have a Shemel shot. So, that's timidity. I just look at that man. Oh, yeah, he did it. He got it. It says, um, I, let's read this in the end of the KJV. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For Yahweh also has not given us the spirit of fear, but the, but, but of power and of love and of sound mind. We gotta have a sound mind. Sound mind, bro. Focus, man. I think these people don't want you to win. You think they want you to win, man? Hell no. Psalms to the one nineteen verse eighty. Let my heart be sound in thy test, test status I mean, um, statues that I be not ashamed. So that's what we want.
Proverbs chapter two verse seven. For he layeth, for he layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly, and that's how we do it. And they can see it, bro. They see it, man. And I brought this out that I'm a, I'm a little light for the for the for the for the malak. He sees me down here, and I'm like, oh. If he sees me, he can scoop me up out of here. Make me one of his, man. Or bring me back to whatever I was as long as I wasn't wicked. You know, bring me back to his power, man. I, I just, hey, man. So why do y'all watch me on shot for this ultimate? Hey. Yeah, that's all I had. Just in the spirit, I'm just something that I totally forgot. Well, I just I know I had a title, but don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yah Bashim Ram Shah Bashim Kakudash to Wadi Yah Bashim Ram Shah for doing us apostles and the elders of great millstone deserve double honors rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki. Shalom.